For me, Christmas has always been about traditions. You know, the music that you hear on the radio, that playlist hasn't changed at all in the last 50 years, has it? Or you think about the decorations that you put up in your house. You probably have some homemade Christmas ornaments that your children made when they were very young. You hang them up with love on your tree. Or you're going to church with your family for candlelight services or for just a normal Christmas Day service. You know what to expect. You know what the story is going to be about. You go home afterwards. You enjoy the food that has been prepared. It's the same food that you always eat for Christmas. And then you have your time opening your gifts. And each family has its own traditional way of, of doing that. For me, that is what Christmas, a lot of Christmas, is about, at least before I came to Africa. Because that first Christmas that I had here in Africa was anything but traditional. Well, for one, we live in the Southern Hemisphere. So that means the, the climate is completely different from how it is in the United States. There's no snow on the ground. It's actually our summer, and it's the rainy season, so it gets very hot, very humid, and very muddy. And going to worship was very different as well. There were no candlelight services. The only time we light a candle is when the power goes out. I heard a lot of songs that I'd never heard before, sung in languages that I didn't understand. I was thankful that for the first Christmas we had here, in Africa, our two daughters were able to join us. Although it wasn't the same, because all the aunts and uncles and grandparents and cousins were back in the United States. So that first Christmas that I spent here in Africa was very non-traditional, very different from what I had experienced many years in the United States. Now what will your Christmas look like this year? Will you be able to celebrate it in a traditional way? Perhaps you will have the opportunity to worship at your church with your family and your loved ones, come home afterwards and do all the family traditions that you're used to. Or maybe your Christmas this year will be very different. Maybe you'll have empty places around the table where your loved ones who have passed on to glory used to sit. Or maybe your children will not be there because they have families of their own now and they're celebrating with them. Or maybe you yourself will have some challenges dealing with changes, physical or mental changes that have come your way in the last year. At Christmas is a time in which we are reminded that the Lord is the master of time. He controls everything in our lives. And, of course, things do change according to his will. But if you are open to change, if you are willing to put your life into God's hands and, and see what he has to, to bring you, you will find some unexpected surprises this Christmas. For me, one of the biggest surprises that I experienced that first Christmas in Africa was pineapples. Yeah, you see, because December is the time of the year in which pineapples are ripe and are for sale everywhere. And growing up in the Midwest, my only exposure to this fruit was at the bottom of a tin can. And it kind of tasted like a tin can too. But there's nothing like eating a fresh, ripe pineapple just bursting with flavor and juice. It's one of the things that I will always associate with Christmas now. That first Christmas, there were some unexpected surprises too. I mean, when Jesus was born, other than the angels announcing his birth to the shepherds, nobody really knew what had happened. Nobody understood that everything was about to change. For most of the world, Jesus' birth was, it was just the birth of, a, of another baby, a poor 
child to a poor family in the most humble of circumstances. But Jesus came to change absolutely everything about us and our world and our future. He came to set us free from being the slaves of Satan, automatically damned by the circumstances of our birth, and to turn us into God's beloved children headed for glory. Jesus initiated some great changes that very first Christmas, changes which continue to impact and influence our lives. And so, when you think about your Christmas this year, you have a lot to be thankful for. You can thank God for the things that have not changed. The fact that Jesus is still in charge of our world. He is still ruling on his throne, still in control of our lives, still watching out for us every day. And you can also thank God for the things which, which have changed, things which make us understand that we are not the masters of our, own, of our own lives, but we put our trust in Jesus and look forward to whatever surprises he has in store for us in the future. I wish all of you a very blessed Christmas this year, and may the Lord continue to bless you and your loved ones as you share the unexpected surprises of Christmas.